Fertile material is a material that, although not itself fissionable by thermal neutrons, can be converted into a fissile material by neutron absorption and subsequent nuclei conversions. Naturally occurring fertile materials Naturally occurring fertile materials that can be converted into a fissile material by irradiation in a reactor include thorium-232 which converts into uranium-233, uranium-234 which converts into uranium-235, uranium-238 which converts into plutonium-239, artificial isotopes formed in the reactor which can be converted into fissile material by one neutron capture include Plutonium-238 which converts into Plutonium-239, Plutonium-240 which converts into Plutonium-241. Some other actinides need more than one neutron capture before arriving at an isotope which is both fissile and long-lived enough to probably be able to capture another neutron in fission instead of decaying. Plutonium-242 to americium-243 to curium-244 to curium-245, uranium-236 to neptunium-237 to plutonium-238 to plutonium-239, americium-241 to curium-242 to curium-243. Since these require a total of three or four thermal neutrons to eventually fission, and a thermal neutron fission generates only about two to three neutrons, these nuclides represent a net loss of neutrons. In a fast reactor, they may require fewer neutrons to achieve fission, as well as producing more neutrons when they do fission. Fissile materials from fertile materials a fast neutron reactor, meaning one with little or no neutron moderator and hence utilizing fast neutrons, can be configured as a breeder reactor, producing more fissile material than it consumes, using fertile material in a blanket around the core, or contained in special fuel rods. Since plutonium-238, plutonium-240 and plutonium-242 are fertile, accumulation of these and other non-fissile isotopes is less of a problem than in thermal reactors, which cannot burn them efficiently. Breeder reactors using thermal spectrum neutrons are only practical if the thorium fuel cycle is used as uranium-233 fissions far more reliably with thermal neutrons than plutonium-239. Applications The facility would notionally transport fertile materials from Earth safely through the atmosphere, and locate them at a space facility at the Earth-Moon L1 Lagrangian point where manufacture of fissile material would occur, eliminating the safety risk of transport of fissile materials from Earth.